have a bit of a... Every time we come to Ikea, I just swoon. I quite like these. These are quite nice. Um, so this was in hand. And then we're going to go for a fifty. Which is quite exciting. This looks incredible. Hello everybody, how you doing? I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome to a IKEA vlog. Now this, I potentially might make it a weekend vlog. We were just having a little bit of a discussion beforehand. Or I might just keep it as today. Basically, myself and Zara. Zara's here, Zara's driving. Um, <coughs> oh, good lord. Um, we are off to IKEA today. Today is the 5th of January. Cool. And today is the 4th of January. <laughs> I always do this. Just been through that as well. It doesn't even matter Question, because I do. Do I keep going down or do I take a ride? No, no, you keep on going down, and then you get to the roundabout. Yeah. Um, yeah. So today we are going to be heading to IKEA. Um, we don't really have anything in mind of what we actually do need. It's more so just there's something about. I was saying to Zara, I'm watching so many people renovate their. Um, Houses like a couple of friends who we've got have just done like bits and bobs like my mate Sean's has bought a house He's doing it up and I'm like, oh, I want to do something like our flat's perfectly fine as it is Like obviously when you're in rented accommodation You can't you're really limited with what you can and can't do and we've pretty much done it all So we're just gonna head to Ikea to just get a couple of essentials. We need like silly things like some shower storage um, Because our shower is just looking a little bit like manic at the minute So we need something to maybe try and refine that um, a couple of artificial plants because as I said in my old um, video our fern in the kitchen is just not looking healthy no, we've I had don't think it's looked healthy since the day we had it Well it did and then it just it just doesn't look great now and I don't know what's happened They're notoriously difficult to keep alive as indoor plants um, So yeah I was going to get a couple of artificial plants Potentially I don't know we're just going to have a look aren't we yeah. There's nothing really any anything else that we particularly need The house is sorted which we it should is. be grateful for I know. I know, we just do love an Ikea trip and What's I know it's... Thing? We're getting like cabin fever in Yeah, definitely. I think especially because also I work at home, so I just like the space to look really nice. I was potentially considering maybe swapping out our armchair, but it is a lovely armchair and we don't need to, like it's lovely. And I think it's more so that would be nice to do if we ever did move again to get a new one, but for the time being, it's absolutely fine. So yeah, we're going to be heading to Ikea. Uh, there's also a Dunelm there so we're going to be having a look in there too that's that's the plan we had a bit of breakfast this morning we've been to the gym our first gym session of 2020 it actually wasn't too bad no, I, I, I actually feel okay yeah i, feel I won't good. in the morning no I'm just we're good gonna, just you know, ride it out yeah we had a lovely like healthy breakfast still sticking with our vegetarianism we had some avocado on toast um with some eggs we're not doing vegan but um it was delish uh, so yeah, heading to Ikea now and then this afternoon slash evening we're going to be doing a little bit of bacon with the new KitchenAid um, I put a little Instagram poll up asking what people wanted to see um, Your yeah, your um, your request was, well there's a lot to request with Zara <laughs> I don't know why um, <laughs> And then a lot of it was um, to do with bacon as well and using the new KitchenAid So we're going to be making some blueberry muffins um, Healthy blueberry muffins as well because we're trying to just reduce the amount of um, sugar that we're eating i mean yeah give or take I mean, give or take there's a lot of sugar in fruit though i know it's good sugar but yeah but in a blueberry muffin yeah well no i just mean the amount of fruit that we're eating we could end up with diabetes <laughs> and that's our positive thought of the day um yeah so that's the plan that's what we're gonna be doing so i'll catch up with you guys when we're in ikea okay so we've nipped into Dunelm. we're gonna do bathroom and then potentially look at some new cushions for the sofa maybe maybe not but um yeah Oh, they are. Yeah. Didn't you say you wanted new towels? These aren't towels, they're death rows. Right. I feel like we're getting warmer. To we're basically looking like as if a bathroom storage for the shower. But that's like towel stuff. And then like loo roll holders. I mean something like this, but we basically don't want it to be on the wall. We want it to be in the shower. Oh, yeah, this could work. This is actually what we need. Sticky. Oh, I wasn't looking at that. I was looking at this. Oh my god, that's literally it. Zara, that's perfect. But do they stick? Yeah, they will do. And you've got little hooks on the side too. I could put, I could put my soap on the bottom. My soap that my mum got me in Brussels. Yeah. And then you could take the top one and I'll do the middle. Eight pounds, mate, that's brilliant. Also, how nice is that? I love that as like a little old toilet roll holder. That bathroom sign's quite nice as well. I do really like these bath trays. The grey is quite nice, Zara. And the black. These are nice little laundry bins. Quite a fan of these. The hair seat ones are nice. Little lids. They're 30 pounds. Quite good. Really happy with this though. I think this looks great. Eight pounds. Bargain. Do you want any new towels, Zara? Um, no, I don't think so. You sure? Just spotted these bar stools. It's mine and Zara's dream to have an island one day with 
some form of stoolage. 71, that's not bad at all, really nice. The Nelms lightens, oh my god, look at this lamb. I actually love that. It's a sausage dog with a crown on. 1760, I'll take two. <laughs> We're actually here for really boring stuff. We need an iron and board cover, believe it or not. Wow, <laughs> this is really invigorating vlog content, guys. I'm sorry. We've just spotted, well, I spotted this sofa. Um, it's £463, but it's like a crushed. It's a lot lighter on camera, but in real life, it's a lot darker. And it's got this beautiful, like, wooden leg detail with wheels. Oh my god, I actually. Oh my god. I'm so tempted to put Zara saying no. We've just spotted these storage containers and they're so nice, literally like old vintage leather. The 35, literally so nice. We've just grabbed this for the living room, just put our games away and there's a bit more storage. They're like stacked inside each other. What? Look, open that one. Oh, oh wow. So you get, do you think you get two for 35? Yeah. That's really good. Okay, so we're all done in Dunelm, and now we're going into Ikea. We go, got our bag at the ready. So I was just putting her mum's um, email address in the Ikea family card thing, because sometimes they offer you like discounts and bits and bobs. Um, please enter a valid email. Oh, um, we, just, uh, we just finished up in Dunelm, and now we're in Ikea. We actually don't need a great deal, but we're just going to have a look around and see if we can get some. Some little bits and bobs. I'm liking these cushions at the back of this bed. I think it just goes to like fills the bed out a bit more. Just a desire. How much help me? 9.50. How does everyone feel about this sofa sitch? I mean, it's not a bad price to be fair. I think we've spotted this room before. I absolutely love it. Yeah. This whole L-shaped sofa literally is a dream. And that actually would work in our space as well. So then it makes me think like, but then it's just silly getting rid of two. So we've just sat down on a, um, an L-shaped corner sofa. Let's have a bit of a, bit of a relax. Um, we are addressing the idea of potentially having one. I'm slowly grafting away at Zara, very, very slowly. Do you like the idea? Of what? An L-shape? Yeah. Mm. I think then um, like, I think L-shapes are better for hosting. I know you I don't do. get things to host, but like... More so just like, it's just cozy. Like how cool is that? But I just feel like if we can pay shots around, we mm. would definitely go with like the coziest. The, we paid £100 for the Chesterfield, which is really nice. And like I like that Chesterfield. And then the other one was a gift from Zara's auntie and uncle, which like if we ever did sell, we could just give them the money back and like there you go. Yeah. I just, the one thing that worries me about getting rid of, not so much the leather one. Mm. John Lewis one. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that as much because they were meant to take that anyway. But the Chesterfield, we got such a good deal that if ever the day came we wanted Chesterfield again, I know, we'd be we would so never upset. get it for such a pound. Literally. Literally. Yeah, and some. But, oh, there's so many ideas going on, this is mad. Every time we come to Ikea, I just swoon and swoon and swoon over the kitchens. Yeah, they're lovely. I just love the dark setup, it's so nice. This is so nice. That's not too bad at all. I like that this is like all out as well, that looks so nice. And I think like you can just pull these out too. Oh my gosh. Yeah, me too. Quite like these tints with like the lids. I'm not really that airtight, but I like the idea for coffee. Just have them like stacked next to each other with like the gold lids. It's quite nice. Quite like these, these are quite nice. Nice, aren't they? We've got a little tea light in them. Yeah. They're quite nice as well. There's like little tea um, candelabra holders too. We've got loads. I like these as well. Quite like minimal. That is lovely, actually. Oh, this is quite clever as well. It's like a little jigsaw puzzle. Actually not getting a lot in Ikea. We've definitely got some inspiration for um, potential sofa that might be happening. But yeah, we're just going to head into the... Um, into the plan section and then I think we're nearly done. Quickest and cheapest IKEA shop we've ever done. <laughs> okay, so we just had a little bit of lunch and um oh my god, do you hear that in my throat? It's like <clears> throat> I'm not getting ill. I refuse to accept we'll that. Um, so I just nipped back into Dunelm after we went and got some lunch and I was adamant to get some cushions for my bed just because I saw in IKEA they just look so inviting when there's more on there. Um, so the plan is I've got a couple of cushions on my bed at the minute. I'm going to pop those in the living room and then uh, put those back on there. So it'll all look nice and hopefully very inviting. And that's it. Inviting. The, invite. Well, for me. Oh yeah, that did sound weird, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, maybe it'll be more inviting. It's nice and cozy. Basically nice and cozy. So, we're back from Ikea and to be honest, we actually didn't get a lot. I've showed you. Stand in the back and judge. No, if you're comfortable. <laughs> 
<laughs> we're just gonna do this all with Zara in the armchair. And yeah, I pretty much showed you everything that we got. We didn't actually get a lot in Ikea at all. It was more, like I said, for inspiration. We did get a Ikea magazine, so we're gonna have a flick through. We're still very much undecided about whether we even need to adjust the living room or whether we're just being a bit silly. But um, yeah, we nipped into Dun 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 Elm. Dun Elm. Um, that's just a UK based store, I think. It's brilliant, it's so affordable. Um, and it's kind of the place you go when you need like a random item, like we needed like some shower storage, we needed an iron board cover, and they had exactly that. Um, so this was eight pounds, and it's a two tier hang and shower caddy. So it has the suction things on the back, but it also has this like hook at the top as well, so you can hang that in the shower, and then, um, Hopefully, fingers crossed, it should stay in place without any casualties. The shower we use, we've got two bathrooms in our flat and we use a shower room separately, but it's not that big, um, but it is the one that gets the hottest, the quickest, and has the best pressure, so yeah, so that's why we've got that. And it's got the two little hooks on the bottom as well for like the shower. What do you call them? Loofers, loaf? No, 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 these hooks here. What you scrub yourself with, shower? Scrunchies. Scrunchies, yeah, basically, so you can hang them off and then like a little thing here. What do you call them again? Floofs. <laughs> Shower flips. Um, and then I like, here you can pop your soap and stuff. So yeah, that was eight pounds. <laughs> this is actually a bit ridiculous. We needed a new iron board cover because ours didn't really survive the move. And this was six pounds, which is so good. 100% cotton. And the print is a sausage dog. <laughs> uh, and it just says ironing board, but it's B O O O O O R E D. So it's booed. I think this has got so many O's because obviously it's a long dog. I hope it fits our random board, it should do. If it doesn't, I guess we can return it. But I like the colour as well, it's quite nice. So yeah, that was £6. And then the last thing we got, which was £10, is this uh, wicker basket. We love a good wicker basket, we've got quite a few in the living room. Um, and this is just for the board games that Zara's Nana got her and myself for Christmas. So we can just store them away nicely and it looks nice and cosy. Um, actually then we did nip back into the mill. And I got these two cushions, which were £20 in total. Um, I basically just wanted some cushions for my bed because I wanted it, like I said in the car, I wanted it to look really nice and cosy. Um, so these are like a nice striped uh, linen material and they were reduced actually, they were supposed to be £14 each but they had a little bit of discount on them for the January sales. So I got two of those um, and I'll pop those on my bed in a second and I will show you. Um, and then we only got three things in Ikea which is a little bit... Um, a bit rubbish haul, but I thought I'd show them anyway. Um, we got some of these Jublar ju ju uh, candles. These are the really long types that we use on our fireplace. You can't really see, but up there with the candelabras. Um, so yeah, these are really good and they last for 10 hours, so that's perfect. You probably get about two evenings out of one. Just spot on. So yeah, just got a pack of those. And then the last two things, it is a bit of a boring haul, this, sorry guys. And this was uh, a coffee tin. I thought it was really nice. It's like a black with like a gold lid. I just thought it'd be really nice to put next to my new coffee machine and pop the coffee beans in. Or I could do like a different type of bean or something. I just think it's really cool. These are like stackable as well. So if you've got a pantry or um, like countertops that you want to have them out, you can like stack them. They have like smaller options. So this was two pounds. And then we needed a new bath mat because um, Zara bless her tried to wash our bath mat in the shower. Um, in the shower room, sorry, in the washer. And it didn't really last. So we got this from Ikea, which is like nice and fluffy. This was... Six pounds. 5.50, £5.50. So it's like a uh, white, um, dark blue, and then a lighter blue, like a teal, I think. I'm really bad with colours. Um, but it's really nice. So yeah, hopefully that won't be too big, but I think it's going to be nice and like absorbent for the water. And that is everything. That's all we got. We definitely went with the idea of the no by January in mind, or spend less, as I said on my New Year's resolution video. That was the mentality, so yeah. We'll have a little flip through the magazine. Also, oh my days, that sofa, I can't stop thinking about it. Basically, I put it on my Instagram, let me show you. So this was the sofa that we saw in Dunelm, and I've just had a look at it online. It was uh, £463, but they did a two-seater for 400 um, I don't know if it's really, is it really picking up on camera? It's just like beautiful um, emerald green colour. And I know it's not an essential, but we just, um, it would be nice to have a little mix of both leather and a nice little teal coloured sofa. But it's definitely something to think about. And like I said, we're not going to rush into anything. Uh, and we are going to have a flick through this IKEA book to see if there are any other options. We did like the idea of an L-shaped one as well. So maybe that can be something we do consider, even not even for this flat, maybe when we move. But yeah, that's 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 pretty much everything. So yeah, we're now going to have a little bit of a play around with the shower thing to try and see if this will work. And then we're going to make some blueberry muffins. So this is like the sitch that we've got going on at the minute. So under here is our like TV unit and this white basket is 
um, just full of blankets for when we go on picnics in the summer. Um, and then this, oh, let me just take off the tag. I like that these stick out as well. I think it looks really nice. I don't even know what half of these are. Reminiscent. They're not quite old. They 1960s like to 1990s. Old. The game for people who remember the Beatles. I mean, that's our we were Trivial Pursuit. I've never played that either. 90s. Six, wait, 1960s to 1990s. We were born in 97. I mean, I, I presume we kind of know a little bit of history. I don't know. Oh, I can teach you. Trivial Pursuit, have you ever played that? No, have you? No, look, apparently it's quite good. Oh, headbands, we played this the other night. This is hilarious. Maybe that one can slide down here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is the new shower storage. It's literally so, so good. So we just hooked it on the back and then also stuck it to the wall, Bazaar wet the back of it. So we've just got like the little shower scrub and some soap, the soap that I use, and then we've just divvied up the two containers and that just looks so much more streamlined and there's nothing on the bottom of the shower cubicle at all. Perfect. Close the door, good to go. Oh, and this is the new shower mat as well. Is this nice and soft? <gasps> I like that a lot. And we have one brand new ironing board cover. I mean, it's not a perfect fit, but literally, it damn so bad. This is what the one we had. I mean, it lasted a year, but it was just, not ideal, this is a lot better. I feel like we're actually gonna enjoy, well, not enjoy item, but nice, and I love the little dog print. <laughs> this is the coffee tin that I got. Well, it's not really a coffee tin, but it's really nice. So I can just like slide it alongside if we move the coffee towel. I actually do need to get like a better one of these, but it's working for the minute. Um, so yeah, I'll start pop it down here, along with the coffee beans and like the knock box. And if I just get a different type of coffee bean, I can just keep it in there. Or even like coffee cleaning tools, that might be a good idea actually. So I've currently got them in the drawer. This little sage, oh, there we go. The sage cleaning kit. That might be perfect, actually, just keep in there. Yeah, I'll do that. And I get a little paintbrush as well, which is good to, like, knock all the coffee grinds off. That's a good shout. There we are. I knew there would be a use for it. That looks really nice there as well. Perfect. And this is what the bed looks like with the cushions on. I ended up putting them at the front. I did get them originally to go on the back, but I quite like them on the front. I think it looks really nice and just super calm and relaxing. I think it looks really lovely. Also, I've um, come to the acceptance that the gallery wall is just a little bit too busy above the bed. So basically we're gonna be losing like the sections on the side and just keeping the one print. I just think it'll look a lot less busy. It does look nice, don't get me wrong, but I think just, yeah. Less is more sometimes in the bedroom. So basically just gonna be taking these off and popping these da, 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 in the living room. So we never really got a chance to finish our gallery wall. And um, it would actually be nice to maybe get a couple of pictures printed off that we took on our travels, maybe in Paris, that could be cool. Or um, on like a future holiday, but yeah, we're gonna be adding to this gallery wall just to really fill this space out. I think it'll just look so nice and all finally come together. Maybe that can be tomorrow's job. If we head in, into central London, I'll get some command strips and stick them all up. But yeah, this is definitely gonna need some more adding to it for sure. Right, so the house is all in ship shape and now we are gonna be making some blueberry muffins. As I said, myself and Zara are trying to be a little bit more healthy this um, January, I only forgot what month it was, this January. Uh, muffins aren't particularly the most healthiest of things, however, they aren't, these ones aren't so bad. Um, it's actually got a, some Greek yogurt in it as well, which is really good. This is Greek style coconut yogurt from Aldi. Um, and very exciting because I get to use my kitchen here for the first time, which is so exciting. So I've took off the, um, the whisk attachment and I've popped on the paddle attachment and we're gonna be weighing everything, here we go. We're gonna be weighing everything in this stainless steel bowl, which I love because it's got a really narrow base so you can just weigh it directly into the bowl, which is fab, and it's got the handle too. Um, I preheat the oven to 180 degrees fan and I blind a bacon tray with muffin liners. We only had six of these like really nice fancy ones, so I'm gonna grab some more of those when I'm in town tomorrow, but then we're just using regular cupcake molds for the rest. We were gonna half the recipe, but we just thought we could take them for like breakfasts and on the go and stuff like that. And eating freeze muffins as well, which is brilliant, so yeah. Eve, so we need 100 grams of this, I think. Double check. 100 grams of unsalted butter, which is this one. Yeah, you just go for it. You get involved. It's gone off. Oh, that's, that's like 50. Oh, Ooh. 58. Almost like you know how to bake. <laughs> and then Nasty. we need to, amazing. Uh, yeah, 140 grams of that, so zero. Yeah, fab. Half a teaspoon of vanilla. So do you know what? Yeah, again, just chuck all of that in. Yeah. Yeah, into the KitchenAid we go. So you tip it in, yeah, perfect, and then lock it. So you'll twist it in and then you can feel it lock. 
That's locked. Perfect. And then we want to go lid down. If I do this, do you just want to grab the front and just tip it down slowly? Like this? Yeah, perfect. Amazing, that's locked in. And then on the side, it should be... Oh, wow! Oh my god, so we don't have to whisk anymore? No. <gasps> this is so good because I hate whisking. <laughs> it's so quiet as well. That's on set and one. Oh my god. This is the artisan version and I am... Um, this makes me very happy. Okay, so we have just creamed the butter and sugar. Oh, this just brings me with a lot of joy. Zara's just cracking some eggs now, amazing. So we've got two large free range eggs going in. Um, this unfortunately isn't a vegan recipe, obviously because of the butter as well, but oh wow, amazing. And then we just need to add the other wet ingredients, which is the milk and the yogurt, and then some flowers, and then we're done. Amazing, right, perfect. And then we're just gonna add all of the blueberries in. We're just gonna add a lot because I love blueberries. To give them a little fold through and then they can go into the cupcake. I'm good at folding. You are. Um, right, yeah, I think it's probably best idea to just, I'd say, fill these halfway through, halfway full, sorry. And then um, what you do is you bake them at 180 degrees fan for five minutes and turn the oven down 160 degrees fan for uh, 15 minutes and then they should be nice and golden on top. It's also a really nice idea if you sprinkle a little bit of caster sugar on about five minutes towards the end. Um, we're gonna probably leave that out, but it makes them go nice and golden on top. Is that the most tactical way to get around it? Yeah, perfect. The muffins are out and they look great. They've baked really well and they smell amazing. We actually use coconut yogurt and I think it's made a massive difference. They smell so good, literally perfectly baked. Do you know what you are holding them? What? The muffin man. Who lives down The muffin man? The muffin man. Do you know the muffin man? These look incredible. And the blueberries are just starting to seep out as well, which looks fab. You can actually stud them when they're in with blueberries, but I quite like them when they're all tucked in the middle. Literally cannot wait to have one of these. So good. Oh my God, these look so good. <gasps> look at the blueberries. Yes, they're literally still steaming fresh out of the oven. Have you heard try some? <laughs> Coconut yogurt all the way. You can still taste it. My God, they're delicious. If you want to check out the recipe, it's a BBC Good Food recipe, but we swapped out the natural yogurt for coconut, and I'm really glad we did. Interesting. You could have even dropped down the sugar even more, because they are so sweet. You could use honey or agave mm. syrup or maple syrup. Oh my god, I mean, we were supposed to be having them for breakfast. It's like a breakfast muffin, but you know. So I've just got into my comfy clothes, and I'm having a little flick through the Ikea magazine, just to see if there's anything in there. This is spark some inspiration. I'm so tempted to, um paint my bedroom like a darker colour. It's like, I don't know, I feel like it's just so white in there, which is really nice. Obviously it's like a multifunctional room because it has to be both an office for me and also a bedroom. And I think a bit of colour would be really nice, but now I'm thinking maybe just a bit of colourful art. Obviously we are in rented accommodation, so painting, you can do it, it's just obviously you've got to return it back to how it was when you leave. Uh, we actually did paint this whole flat white and we have done like a dark feature wall here, which we do love. Um, but obviously you've got to paint a white when you do leave, so it's definitely easy to do. Um, and I've just been looking on Pinterest for like ideas. Um, let me show you what I just saw. Yeah, something like that. I just think it looks so nice. Obviously there's like paneling on there too. Like a dark charcoal grey could just look really nice because obviously everything else is like light. So tempted, it's just obviously charcoal is so difficult to paint back white, which might not be the best idea, but yeah. So I'm a little flick through the Ikea magazine. They've got so much nice stuff in at the minute. It's really lovely. So we're just going to have some snacks. So yeah, we finished You on Netflix. So we've actually been watching this 10-part, um, 10-episode 10 10 series called The Haunting of Hill House. Um, I think it's been on quite a while on Netflix, but we have absolutely loved it. It's quite scary. It's definitely not suitable for like kids and um, maybe people who do get scared quite easy. But um, yeah, it's brilliant. We've got two more episodes left. So yeah, I'm going to sit and watch. Them. Come on, everybody. Hello. So today is okay. Sunday and we have already been to the gym. It's 10.30? Yeah, 10... What? No. Oh. It's um, 10.35 in the morning and we're just going to have some breakfast. I've just made myself a little protein shake and I'm having some... Well, actually, Zara made me some breakfast, some um, cereal, some yoghurt and some raspberries. You can't really see, but all good stuff. Um, so today we are... Actually, we've got a really nice fun day today. We were going to go and just do like a grocery shop, standard Sunday stuff, but um, Zara actually got 
an afternoon tea voucher from her friend Chloe, and um, you haven't used it, and I think it's a, you get a year to use it, don't you? Mm -hmm. Is it? I think it's like till July. Oh, something. okay. It's in a really nice hotel in Mayfair. Um, so Zara's very kindly said, "Do you want to come along?" So today we're going to be going afternoon tea, which is very exciting. It's a quintessentially, quintessentially British thing to do. Uh, we were supposed to be doing dry January. I know I said that in my 2020 um, goals and targets. However, it's more of a damp January because you do get a cheeky little glass of champagne, which sounds very nice. Um, but yeah, we're just going to chow down on some breakfast. But before we do that, we're having a bit of a meal planning session for the coming week. We find this really helpful to do. So we have this meal planner that we've used for a while now. This was this week's. Um, so we've had stir fry and these are all been vegetarian by the way. Stir fry, curry um, and rice for heaters and then this evening we're making a vegetarian lasagna. So um, we're going to use this as a shopping list and then this to plan our week of breakfast, lunch, dinner and snacks. And we've just got some cookbooks down. Very Jamie Oliver heavy, but he's brilliant. I feel We've like literally we're got three. A week on this, in all fairness. Oh really? Okay. And this is Mob Kitchen. We um, I bought this last year actually. It's really, really good. It's it was designed for like students because the ingredients are so affordable and uh, there's not a lot in the dishes, but they're super tasty. Sorry to be upside down, but it's brilliant. It's by Sorry. a guy called Ben Liebus, who's awesome. Yes, also do keep an eye out because I'm going to be filming um an Aldi grocery haul, and then maybe I might do. Um, let me know what, down below what you prefer, down below what you prefer, sorry. Um, so I'm obviously going to be doing an Aldi vegetarian grocery shop for like healthy meal ideas. And then if you want to see what I eat in a day, or if you want to see like recipe ideas in a week of what we're eating, do let me know and I can film either or which whatever you prefer. But yeah, we're going to have a little plan. Yeah. So I always just got some of these post-it notes that I use sometimes when I'm doing notes and things and just section out some recipes that look tasty, healthy and all vegetarian. Brilliant. People love it, it's ASMR. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. Do just what you want. You're the one I trust. So we've just written our list for the shopping. Um, God, it's actually quite messy. This, this is probably going to give people massive like stress <laughs> um so this is everything that we need so i've kind of sectioned it off into dry goods fruit um deli bits i did write frozen but we don't really need anything for the freezer so i've just continued the veg section um and cans so we've decided on making a pea risotto some cauli uh, curried cauliflower wraps a pesto gnocchi um a bean and pepper stew sticky aubergines with uh, peanuts saturday we're going to go to richmond in london and we're going to treat ourselves to azizis for dinner or potentially lunch depending and then um sunday we're going to make our own pasta so definitely keep your eye out for that video as well we're going to do get the pasta machine out and finally put it to use and we're going to make a lemon and courgette linguine and that is literally everything we need it's a completely vegetarian potentially vegan food shop if we didn't actually get parmesan and eggs um yeah really happy with that so i'm just going to quickly eat some breakfast i'm going to reply to some comments of you guys who've just um commented on the video i uploaded which was setting my 2020 goals and thank you all so much that it's really lovely that you all uh, writing in the comments i've um, read a few already about people saying that 2019 wasn't really a great year for them and um i am sorry to hear that it does it's always difficult um because so many people's lives are different and um, i know you can't really predict what's going to happen in your life sometimes things just come and knock you off your feet and you can't really prepare for it but um i really hope everyone is going to have a good happy and healthy 2020 that is that's for sure all right i'm gonna eat my breakfast now so we've made it into central and we're just on oxford street at the minute just having a little look in the shops um i'm wanting to get a little few more gym pieces because we are making a more conscious effort to go back into the gym and we did go this morning so there we are we're proving ourselves right wow that's um, nice <laughs> yeah exactly we're doing well um and then we're just gonna quickly nip into john lewis just because we need a new frying pan um and then we're gonna go for afternoon tea we just got exciting london's dead it's so so like lit for a sunday it's wonderful, but we're just going to head into the sports shop now. We're just heading into John Lewis now to grab a couple of bits with the voucher that my auntie and uncle got me. So we've just picked up a frying pan in John Lewis because it's something that we've desperately needed. So, and if you're watching this, thank you very, very much. Definitely grand. But there's some in John Lewis that are like, this is like £45, £50. Pounds. Happy with this one. This will do. Okay, so 
frying pan purchased, all good. I've got some little gym kit going on here, all set. Now we need to go to afternoon tea. Off we go. Tired. <laughs> and I always be around when I need some love and Just popped back from the afternoon tea. It was very nice. And um, these are the bits and bobs that we got in Waitrose. I think I basically showed you everything. Sorry, the shadows are really annoying when we were in the store. But we got some teriyaki sauce because we're going to be doing um, like a nice oriental dish next week. So keep your eye out for that. Um, and I also picked up some jackfruit in Waitrose because I've heard this is really, really good. Um, it's fully vegan and it's supposed to be a very similar texture to like pulled pork and stuff So we got some of that and just some red chilies because Aldi never seemed to have chilies, which is really annoying And a copy of the Waitrose health food magazine, which is always very nice to have a little flick through I got a lot of inspiration from these it's dinner time So we are making it. Oh, sorry. We're making a homemade lasagna um, and we've just made like a nice ragu with some vegetarian mints um, and then like loads of veggies like carrots and that kind of thing more? the white yeah loads more the white sauce we have made ourselves but it's pretty good and um, add some cheese into this i'm so excited this is my first vegetarian lasagna i've ever had okay so the lasagna is now done oh my god that is a hench lasagna <laughs> we just put some cheddar cheese on top um, all right so we aren't doing the january but we are doing some vegan meals but this is vegetarian so it needs to cook for about 20 to 25 minutes until it's nice and crispy on top this looks incredible Oh, I'm so excited. We've just poured ourselves a very modest glass of um, red wine that I got from um, Billy's sister Liz. We do have some more wine in the house, but we're drinking it moderately. And I'm going to have some of this um, vegan aioli, which is from Leon, available at Sainsbury's. It's delish. Right, do you want to do the honours? The corners are the best parts of a lasagna, in my opinion, because they go like nice and crispy. Would you like a corner? No, no, you go for that one. Oh, it looks good. It's a quite a firm one. Yeah. Oh, mm. Sarah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we finished our lasagna and, and now we're going to be doing a Sunday face mask because Sundays are meant for that, yeah. aren't they? They are. Um, I'm going to do one, I think, potentially, well, I've got two. I've got two little samples here, actually. I really enjoy when you go to like a store and they give you samples of products. It's really clever because it makes you want to buy them. Um, so we've got one here from Kiehl's, which is a Calendula Aloe Soothing and Hydration Mask Refreshes and Revitalizes for Healthy Looking Skin. That's that one. That's right. And then I have one from the Body Shop, which is an Amazonian Akai one, which uh, energizes and provides radiance to your skin as well. So they're pretty much similar. I have been wanting to try the um, the Kiehl's one for quite some time. Visible layers clean skin, rinse with warm water and massage gently into circular motions, pat dry with a towel, avoid contact with the eyes. We're going to go for that one. Oh! I mean, I've just got a little sample from Kiehl's and Zara's is pulling out all of the fit. Where did you, oh, this is from your mum, right? Christmas. Meanwhile, yeah, my- Santa! <laughs> oh my God, look at that hair. <laughs> right, I'm gonna end this weekend vlog here. If it's been very long, sorry. I'm, I'm not really sure if you enjoy watching the longer weekend vlogs, but it's been a bit of a nice one. And it's been a bit of just a nice home relaxing time but yeah i hope you have enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it obviously do hit that thumbs up button don't forget to hit subscribe and also if you tick that little notification bell it lets you know when i do upload new videos which is always really handy so yeah thank you so much for watching guys and i'll catch you very very soon bye for now